The Great Australian Bight is one of the best places in the world to spot southern right whales. They gather here every year to mate and frolic. Numbers have been rebounding from near extinction caused by commercial whaling. The southwestern population of southern right whales in Australia is increasing at or near the maximum biological rate of increase, which is around 6% per year, which is showing good signs for recovery of the population in Australia. Dr Steve Burnell established the Great Australian Bite Right Whale Study Project 30 years ago. A group of four adults just off the one kilometre mark, about 700 metres offshore. They were whaled nearly to extinction in, in the 1800s. Um, you know, through the 1970s and 80s even, they, they were just not seen. And so in 1990, when I visited um, the Great Australian Bight and found seven calving females, it, it was a, a big event. While the 30-year study has found an increase in right whale populations since the 90s, the researchers have recorded lower numbers in the last two years. And this has been linked to climate change. The productivity of the ocean, the warming uh, temperature of the planet, less krill available, which is what they almost universally feed on. Ongoing research of these giant mammals is providing an insight into how climate variation is having an impact on marine life. The 30 years of research on southern right whales does enable the assessment of linkages between the climate variates, the demographics, the health and the foraging ecology. So we really need to understand more and investigate those questions. I'm very committed to keeping the data set going for another 30 years. Um, it really does increase in value for every extra year now that we add to it. A recovering population now facing another existential threat. Evelyn Leckie. ABC News, Port Lincoln.